Most Accurate Forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. And Alana, we have yet another spring snowstorm just pounding the state of Utah. Yes, and when you talk about those rivers, Glenn, that's something we have to be aware of because the long range here brings in some warmth and we're looking at high, fast river flows. But today, we're talking about April snow. This is what it looks like in Woodland Hills. Can you believe that? The snow continuing to come down at last check. Peggy Sorensen measuring 10 inches in her yard as the Utah County benches are still accumulating. And that's not over, folks. Look at some of these totals, big numbers coming out of this storm thus far and it continues tonight and into tomorrow 14 inches of Randolph Ogden getting a foot close to that on the Wasatch back the bountiful bench at 9.2 to Willa County at 7. So April snowstorm bringing half a foot or more to places like to Willa County Logan and higher elevations of Salt Lake at six and a half five inches in PC Saratoga Springs at four Brigham City getting two and a half these numbers going up as snow continues to come down at this hour. It's a mix of rain and snow but snow now at the ABC4 studios. We've got moisture on the camera with those temperatures sitting in the mid 30s. So that's giving you an idea. We've got cold air in place, but that's why on the valley floor we get that mixed precip. Also the case in Provo, but look over I-15 freezing or below with those 20s. And we know Scipio Summit, Beaver County, Cedar City getting some heavy snow right now. It's 39 degrees in St. George, giving you an idea that that cold front has moved through. Compare that to eastern Utah where you see 60s. Now the areas that are not cold, Gosh, they are windy, very windy, and so much so they've got high wind warnings in effect. We've got that front kind of draped over southeastern Utah, so the dry areas dealing with blustery conditions. High wind warning, what you're seeing for the four corners and up through Moab, holds on until 9 p.m. tonight. We've got a wind advisory over I-70 towards Green River, and new this afternoon, Castle Country, a sliver here from Price all the way down to Emory with Farron, Castledale, and Huntington, now underneath that wind advisory with gusty conditions. Once the front goes through, you will see colder air moving in, and the winds will relax but you can see exactly where it is. Latest wind gust 46 miles per hour in Moab, Zion clocking a 41 mile per hour gust. And then we've got the winter alerts with our winter storm warning holding on in the south until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning in central Utah at 6 p.m. And that's also the case up north where the mountains as well as the Wasatch Front underneath a winter storm warning on April 3rd as well as the Uinta is dealing with the snow and we're not done. Yeah, lake effect possible into tonight. Northwesterly flow with moisture potential anywhere from Davis to Salt Lake County looking at that chance of some localized heavy snow. Futurecast walks us through what to expect. That band noticeable there by 10 p.m. Cache Valley at 2 a.m. Northwesterly flow bringing in the chance for lake effect into the early morning hours. Basically, we're looking at commutes being compromised tonight and through tomorrow with snow showers hours holding on by Tuesday at 7 p.m. We still have snow out there Wednesday, some isolated showers holding steady. Then things dry out and quiet down, but not before dropping additional snowfall. Two to eight in our northern valleys. Look at the benches, 10 to 20 in our northern mountains. One to two feet expected in most mountain areas. Four to 10 in places like Cedar City, Beaver, Scipio, and one to five for the Uinta Basin. Hey, cold air for Zion National Park, a new freeze watch out. Yeah, a freeze watch for Zion National Park Tuesday into Wednesday. 30s for those highs tomorrow, 40s over in Moab, 30s for the I-15 corridor and 50 in St. George. We're gonna be running 20 to 30 degrees below seasonal norms. That's insane. We are likely going to break records, 50s, 60s, 70s, and then 80s. Look at this drastic warm up in southern Utah. It's going to be 80 on Easter Sunday. Have to remind you that the Pine Valley Mountains have a lot of snow. It's really going to accelerate melting. For the Wasatch Front, we have snow tomorrow. Snow showers Wednesday, drier Thursday, 60 on Eastern and northern Utah. But we go from the 30s to the 40s to the 50s to the 60s. I'm going to just tell you, that's called weather whiplash. It is. And uh, it's going to be very, very fast. And that 80 is very concerning. Uh, yes, down south. It's a rapid warm-up. We have a lot of snow, and it's going to melt very quickly. Oh, boy. Flooding concerns very real, not just this mm. week, for the next several. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the heads up, mm -hmm. Lana. Turn now to Wes, and uh, you're going to have a little... Pick me up for us, right? Exactly. We'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> All right. Gloomy forecast. Yeah, <laughs> April's Fool Day was on Saturday, but there were a lot of days where food.